For many kids, Christmas morning was the most exciting day of the year. That's only because most kids don't know the joy of getting their college midterms back. It also didn't hurt that Dr. Sturgis looked like an elf. Nice work, Sheldon. Now, you'll notice that your grades are lower than expected. That's because Sheldon did so well, he broke the curve, turning your A's and B's into B's and C's. They don't seem happy about it. Maybe you can give them candy. Hey, John. George, John Sturgis here. That's why I said, hey, John. Great. I was wondering if we could go out for a beer and talk. What, aren't we talking right now? Yes, but we had so much fun last time, I thought we could do it again. Gee, John, last time you got drunk and threw up in my glove compartment. Did I? <laughs> well, while I don't remember any of that happening, I promise to be on my best behavior, and the drinks are on me. Astrovia! That's, uh, to our health in Russian. It's not the place to talk Russian. So what's up? Well, Sheldon has been doing extraordinarily well in his college physics class. I know. He made me put his test up on the fridge next to Missy's drawing of her hand as a turkey. <laughs> so, uh, the university has taken notice of Sheldon's talents, and they would very much like him to enroll full-time. Now, we've been down this road, John. Sheldon's only 10. Mary and I both have jobs. We just can't make it work. Well, that's why they asked me to speak to you. They're looking to sweeten the pot. That's a gambling metaphor. A lesser-known version is sweeten the kitty. I assume the difference is regional, but I'm no etymologist. This beer is yummy. Mm. So what are they offering, John? They thought it would be easier on the family if you were employed at the university. Really? Yes, that way you could drive Sheldon and keep an eye on him while he's there. But I'm a football coach. Does this school even have a team? Oh, yes, they do. They they don't win much, but they lead the league in injuries. Well, I guess that's the thing. Okay. Anyway, I believe they're willing to uh, exceed your current salary by a substantial amount. Is that so? Yes. They thought it would incentivize you. Well, John, they're not wrong. Excellent! Nostrovia! <laughs> what the hell? Nostrovia! How was Dr. Sturgis? He's fine. What did you two talk about? I don't know. S stuff? Science stuff? Uh, no, just regular stuff. Ooh, I bet he talked about me. What did he say about me? He shouted and everything isn't about you. Hey, go to your room. Yes, sir. What'd y'all talk about? Sheldon. Uh -huh. The university wants to offer me a coaching job. If it'll help to get Sheldon to go there full time. Oh. We talked about this. College might be too much for him. I know, and that's why I'd be there. You want to help him over the rough spots. I don't know, George. It can't hurt to see what the offer is. There are more important things than money. That's cute. You should knit that on a pillow. Maybe I'll push that pillow over your face.